Mm -hmm. Two Jackson County communities are still in shock tonight after a weekend accident that killed four teenagers, two from Seymour and two from Brownstown. And four more teens were seriously injured. They were all in the small town of Cortland on Saturday night. They were pushing a broken down SUV along Highway 258 when then they were hit from behind. Today, our Rich Van Wyke spoke with investigators and also friends in mourning. The tragic collision occurred on a state highway in the little town of Cortland. The flowers, the cross, the candles, they're all here to memorialize the lives of four teenagers who were killed. 15-year-old Brittany Watson, 16-year-old Martin Martinez, 14-year-old Navia Law, and Aiden Claudel's good friend, 14-year-old Jenna Helton. She was always there to help people, no matter what, no matter what she was going through, she was, she wanted to help more than she wanted to help herself sometimes. Come on, donations for these families! Friends and relatives quickly organized a car wash. Any donation helps. Oh, we oh appreciate God, you guys so amazing. much. Right. Amazing. To help the families pay funeral costs. They're also taking orders for memorial t-shirts. They felt a need to help and let the community know how much the grieving families will need it. Let's help them. Let's do something for them. They shouldn't have to be worried about financial needs right now. The accident occurred about 11 o'clock Saturday night on a dimly lit stretch of Highway 258. The teens were at a slumber party. When an SUV left the house and broke down a couple of blocks away, they left the party to push it back to the home. There's no, you know, no emergency lane or anything on the highway. They were pushing it about a block from the house when the other vehicle came up, uh, didn't see the kids. and. We're struck. Sheriff Crothers says preliminary tests showed no signs of alcohol or drug use. The accident investigation is still underway. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll hear from the sheriff, find out exactly what investigators know now and what else they're trying to find out. Rich Van White, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.